If you were a cartoon lover like myself, our next guest played a big role in shaping your childhood Saturday mornings. We're excited to welcome Guy Gilchrist back to First Coast Living. Uh, hey, um, sorry, I have to interrupt you here. Yes, Jordan. We're doing an interview now, Guy. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry. I was I was working on <laughs> Jordan's requests. Oh, stop. No, but you know what? Welcome back to the show. We loved having you in February. Oh, thank you. You are so awesome. And so. You know, Jim Henson hand selected you to craft some of the most popular, iconic characters, of course, and comic books as well. But let's talk about some of the ones that you've created mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. Tell us about. Well, I'm part of the creative team that created the beloved Muppet Babies. Yeah. You know, I was Jim's cartoonist already doing a comic strip based on the Muppet Show mm -hmm. when I got the phone call going, what would they look like as babies. Okay. And, uh, and that was your first on. request, right? Oh, here, let me see if I can, it's in his camera shot. Maybe not. Okay, here we go, guys. So it's kind of hard to see, right? Because it's not colored in yet, but he literally took less than five minutes to create a baby Kermie. <laughs> How cute. So, I mean, so you, you just started and they were like, all right, we love it. Let's do it. Well, it was, uh, uh, working with Jim was incredibly exciting in every way that it possibly could sure. be. In that you never had any time. <laughs> that Jim was just this creative dynamo that mm -hmm. had 15 balls up in the air right. all at once. You get a phone call and this particular time it was a phone call saying, what would they look like as babies? This was a Tuesday, bring them in on Thursday. Oh, wow. And, you know, they were already, you know, in mode figuring this out. And yeah. then I got to start adding to that two days later. Okay. So it's like, there was no time to even be freaked out. It's <laughs> just, just like, to get to back. work, get to yeah. work, kiddo. Yeah. And I mean, I opened this with no doubt this has shaped your childhood, right? Like the majority <laughs> of people know exactly who these characters are. But the fact that it's also timeless, I mean, it just keeps going through generation and generation. How does that make you feel? What does that mean to you? It's incredible. It, it, it's the joy of my heart. Mm -hmm. I meet generation after generation of children. I mean, you know, look, you're all grown up, yeah. you know, and uh, there's three generations now that have grown up on these characters. And to see the smile mm -hmm. that it brings to them, for them to share the memories that the things that I worked on oh, made. Yeah. And I understand, I have my own memories. Yeah. You know, but to be a part of yours, it's priceless. Yeah, so many people too. And let's talk about the art and cartoon, the comic world, how it has evolved over the years. Mm -hmm. I mean, and how does, I mean, what do you think about that, how, how it has transformed? Well, it's still, we still need to draw this. Right. Right? Okay, so you still have to draw Tom and Jerry. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now, of course, you're putting that into a computer. Right. And then that computer is going to do some of the coloring, the manipulation, and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, video games, of course, didn't exist right. when we started this out. Uh, but they're alive, they're, they're still alive. It's still the same personalities, the same characters, the mm -hmm. same fun, the same joy. It's just another me another way to get the message across. Right. That's that's how it feels to me, anyway. Um, I do really miss, and I'll bet you do too, when there were Saturday morning oh, cartoons. Definitely, that was it something was to look point, forward to. I know, right? Appointment television. Yeah, appointment <laughs> like that. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I want you to draw something again really quickly, but before we get to that, what would you say to an up and coming creative, somebody who wants to do illustrations like this? If you want to be a pro, remember that it's got to be like oxygen to you, that because you're gonna get knocked down 99 times out of 100. Right. So if that's not your thing, <laughs> then don't try to do it professionally. Okay. But art should be a part of every single person's life. Mm -hmm. And however it goes for you, whatever it means for you, if all you wanna draw, if all you wanna do is draw and write and mm -hmm. be creative mm -hmm. every day, then you should, and eventually maybe you'll find out, gee whiz, this really is oxygen to me, Okay, you know? 
And that's going to be the evolution there. Right. I mean, I was whatever, uh, you know, four or five or six years old when I realized this was it. Oh, wow. And then at 10, I wrote Walter Lance, the creator of Woody Woodpecker, and at the time he was the most famous animator in the world. Right. And he wrote me back and he gave me what I'm going to give you and our viewers as the really the answer mm -hmm. to that question. He said, you have a lot of talent for a 10 year old boy. If you practice really hard mm -hmm. and you never ever quit, mm -hmm. someday you will be a successful cartoonist. And you are, how amazing is that? Okay, so I'm gonna show off some of this really quickly if they can get the camera. Uh, if Okay, perfect. Look, how beautiful is this? I would love for you to take it away, though, and draw something These are for your us. guys, right? Oh, yes. Uh, I love, are, yeah, the Labyrinth, your, the Goblin King, and Jessica Connolly here. I mean, not this doesn't even have color to it. All right, so go ahead okay. and draw something for us as we um, take it away here. But really well, quickly. Well, you know, I've been drawing these characters a very long time. <laughs> doing it upside down. That's <laughs> impressive. Where can people find you, though, while you're doing this? Uh, I'm at a Guy Gilchrist Production. Dot com and there's Guy F. Gilchrist and Guy Gilchrist on Instagram, TikTok, all of that stuff. So yeah, if you want to see where he's going to be he's heading He's kind of freaking out because he's upside down, <laughs> but not to you. Wow, okay, here we go. Let's see, he just did that upside down. Kind of hard to see with the glare, but look at that! How cool are you? It was such a pleasure to see you thank again. You, thank Jordan. you so much for stopping by. And thank you for helping shape our childhood. Thank you. <laughs> and if you'd like to see this segment again, just head to our website at firstcoastliving.net.